हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आई एस विथ हरियंत स्टूडेंट एज यू नो कि एवरी डे एट नाइन पी एम वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इंडियन पॉलिटी एंड बेसिकली इन दिस सेशन वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ बुक दैट इज स्पेशली पब्लिश बाई अरिहंत एंड दिस बुक सीरीज इज कॉल्ड एज प्रिलियंस पॉसिबल एज दोज वर गोइंग टू पार्टिसिपेट इन एनी स्टेट पी एस सी एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल एज द यू पी एस सी एग्जामिनेशन सो दिस सेशन इज गोइंग टू वेरी वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर दैम सो स्टे ट्यून विद द सेशन एंड इफ यू फील इन डाउट इन डिफिकल्टीज वी आर ऑलवेज ओपन टू डिस्कस विथ यू सो दिस सेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस बुक प्रिलिम्स पॉसिबल दैट इज पब्लिश बाई अर हेल्थ एंड स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डेटा बट बिफोर दैट वॉट दिस बुक कंटेन ओके वॉट इज द यूनिकनेस वाई दिस बुक इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अर एग्जामिनेशन एंड हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू सो इफ यू सी स्टूडेंट्स दिस बुक इज बेसिकली डिवाइडेड इन टू चैप्टर्स and that chapter is systematically uh, arranged into topic and there is a mind map for each and every uh, uh, basically topic students and there is a 100% error free explanation and students there is a knowledge plus for the typical question and in the last students you will get a 3500 plus pyq bullets it is a bunch it is going to help you in your quick revision so we started with the 13th chapter that is prime minister and council minister council of minister and we already discuss about the three topics today we are going to start with the council of minister the fourth topic of this chapter and then we'll discuss about the agi attorney general of india i hope i am proper audible as well as visible to you if you feel any doubt any difficulties students you all are free to ask any question okay so i hope everything is okay so as we already discuss students basically there is a part 5 of indian constitution that contain about the union or you can say the center okay and students it contain a article from 52 to 151 and there is a lots of post like there is a president vice president council of minister and prime minister and students there is a age attorney general of india and then parliament okay and then function of parliament and the designatories of the parliament and then there will be supreme court and then students there is a uh, a cag okay so these all uh, posts and offices belonging to the uh, union but you see students president vice president council of minister they are considered as the union executive part okay union executive part and basically article 52 to 78 is a part of the union executive president vice president council of minister prime minister and attorney general of india student in the last class we discussed the president is the head of the nation he is the head of the state he is the head of armed forces he is the head of first means he is the first citizen of india all function all uh, 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 executive action are taken on the name of the president of india so president cannot do alone okay these all work so for that purpose is a prime minister and students the prime minister has a group that is combinedly called as council of minister and basically this post are created to help president as well as to give advice okay for the day to day activity as well as for the functioning of the government students i hope you all able to understand uh, see my voice is okay engineer vishnu and other please inform so uh, uh, if there is an issue we can resolve it okay everyone so uh, we already discussed who is a prime minister what condition required with a prime minister means to be a prime minister and now students today we are going to start with the council of minister we already discussed prime minister is also part of the council of minister and students they are collectively responsible towards the lok sabha as lok sabha is a house of people student another very important thing this council of minister will swim together sink together okay and what you see uh there is a also a uh, basically a ranking according to all clear okay great so according to how you means uh, which post and how you managing a ministry so students there is in the council of minister there is a cabinet ministers okay cabinet ministers are those minister who is a head of a department let's suppose defense so defense is a complete department and it is headed by a person named as mr rajnath singh ji and students he is basically a cabinet minister 
ओके इन द सेम फॉर्मेट लेट सपोज ऑल फाइनेंशियल मैटर इज टेक केयर बाय निर्मला सीता रमन मैम ओके सो शी इज द हेड ऑफ द फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री एंड शी इज आल्सो अ कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर ओके सो कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर आर इंपॉर्टेंट डेजिग्नेटरीज एंड दे टेक पार्ट इन द कैबिनेट मीटिंग एंड दे विल टेक द इंपॉर्टेंट डिसीजन एंड देन स्टूडेंट इज अ मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट आर बेसिकली दे आर अटैच टू अ मिनिस्ट्री ओके एंड दे विल फंक्शन अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री एंड समाइम स्टूडेंट इज अ मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट इंडिपेंडेंट चार्ज ऑल्सो सो दे हैव इंडिपेंडेंट चार्ज वेन एवर दे कॉल्ड मीन्स वेन एवर रिक्वायर्ड देन दे कैन बी कॉल्ड फॉर द मीन्स स्पेसिफिक रिपोर्ट और लेट सपोज फॉर द मीटिंग सो कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट दे विल टेक पार्ट इन द लेट सपोज अ स्पेसिफिक मिनिस्ट्रीज मीटिंग इज गोइंग ऑन इन दैट केस दे आर गोइंग टू मीट देयर बट दे आर द पार्ट ऑफ द काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट चार्ज इज ऑल्सो देयर एंड स्टूडेंट्स सी इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डिसीजन मेकिंग पावर इज लाइज इन द हैंड ऑफ कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर्स और कैबिनेट आई होप यू ऑल गेटिंग so we are going to discuss now the written concept the mind map and if something is needed then i will discuss with the same data so see uh, who is the council of minister they possess actual executive power as you we already discussed students we have two type of head one is nominal head who is the nominal head of the country is basically president of india and his position is just a signatory position so sometimes there is a comment he is called as a rubber stamp okay his action is basically rubber stamp because his uh, uh, work is only to approve the files and bills okay and students who is the real head so real head is basically prime minister of india okay now actual executive organ of the indian political system so basically prime minister taking important decision with the help of their council of minister and highest decision making body in the uh, uh, constitution students so there are some constitutional provision article 74 of indian constitution we already discussed it is mentioning about there shall be a council of minister headed by prime minister to aid and advise the president of india okay so there shall be a council of minister which is headed by prime minister to aid and advise the president of india students okay Article seventy-five is mentioning about uh, their appointment, their tenure. So basically, it is about the appointment of prime minister and council of minister. So basically, prime minister is appointed by who? President of India, and there is a condition: uh, the person who is going to be appointed as prime minister, he must secure the majority in the Lok Sabha students. council of minister appointed by prime minister on the advice of uh, prime uh, sorry appointed by president of india on the advice of prime minister students article 76 is about the attorney general of india and 77 is about the operation of government function so there is a very unique word basically all the executive action is taken on the name of the president of india and president can make some rule or law for the convenient of the parliamentary businesses students article 78 is about the duty of prime minister to provide information and to make aware about the national affair parliamentary affair to the president of india students i hope you all getting it great pm is the real head prime, uh, president of india is the nominal head okay aryan and then students article 88 is here right of minister in relation to the parliament now as we already discussed categories of minister there is a cabinet minister they are a head of departments okay they are the head of the departments and all action or uh, basically all the work they perform okay and they will regulate it they will supervise it like ministry of home affair ministry of defense ministry of finance ministry of commerce okay so they are the combined okay and they are combinedly called as cabinet minister then minister of state basically to aid and advise these ministers and deputy minister is also there 
what are the power and function so basically as you know students basically council of minister and prime minister they are taking important decision if you see the prime minister means the prime minister narendra modi ji is here and basically all the policies of the country is basically defined by it is basically controlled by it is implemented by the council of minister students uh, they basically central over the governance enforcing law and maintaining order they are appointing means all the appointments done by them executive power financial power coordination among the departments so basically this is about the outline of this chapter now students we are going to discuss mcqs and this is going to help you in your understanding so if you feel any doubt any time students we are always open to you so uh, now i'm going to move uh, or i'm going to start the question uh, of this uh, topic students but i have to arrange myself just give me a second okay i think now it is okay so we are going to start with the first question council of minister includes cabinet minister minister of state deputy minister or all the above students so it is very important to understand basically council of minister and under the council of minister students prime minister is also part of the council of minister and we already discuss students there is a different type of council of ministers one is called as cabinet ministers okay so basically they are the head of department like i'm just giving an example let's suppose there is a home affair department let's suppose there is a defense ministry so these all departments take care by a single person like home is take care by basically presently amit shah ji defense is basically take care by uh, rajnath singh ji okay so these things are important so cabinet minister are important designatory and they will take part in cabinet meeting so they will take part in the cabinet meeting students after that students is a minister of state okay so minister of state basically created to assist the cabinet minister and then deputy minister is also there okay minister of independent charge okay so they all are the part of the council of minister and they will combinedly count students another very important thing they are collectively responsible plus accountable collectively responsible towards the okay collectively they are responsible towards the lok sabha why because lok sabha is the house of people okay so this data is important students initially to make a uh, means in the time of coalition government uh see in the coalition government students small parties come together and they are creating majority in that case for that purpose what was happening basically the small parties or basically member of that parties they are seeking ministry position and for that purpose students they are going to make a uh, uh, basically coalition so there was a very important amendment was done during the time period of atal bihari vajpayee ji 91st constitutional amendment act 2003 at that time students it says that the council of ministers number not be more than 15% of lok sabha so this is very important uh the council of minister number cannot be more than 15% of lok sabha and it is important for each and every examination and this was done by 91st constitutional amendment act 2003 so students basically council of minister includes cabinet ministers state ministers deputy ministers and so automatically option d is going to be right for the same students so now as i already told you this book contain a very detailed explanation for each and every question so that's why this book is also going to be important so i'm going to give the explanation of each and every question here from the same book if you see answer number d 
द काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स इंक्लूड द कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर स्टेट मिनिस्टर्स एंड डिप्टी मिनिस्टर्स सो काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर हेडेड बाई प्राइम मिनिस्टर टू एड एंड एडवाइज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज अपॉइंटेड बाई प्रेसिडेंट एंड हु ऑल्सो अपॉइंट अदर मिनिस्टर ऑन द एडवाइज ऑफ प्राइम मिनिस्टर सो काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर इज कलेक्टिवली रिस्पॉन्सिबल एंड अकाउंटेबल टूवर्ड्स द लोकसभा इफ दे आर बिल इज गोइंग टू फेल इन द लोकसभा नाउ दे ऑल नीड टू रिजाइन ओके नाउ स्टूडेंट द वर्ड मंत्री मंडल अ वेरी गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन द वर्ड मंत्री मंडल कैबिनेट इज मैंशन ओनली वंस इन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दैट इज इन ओके सो दिस वर्ड मंत्री मंडल इज मैंशन ओनली वंस इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड दैट इज इन वेयर इट इज रिटर्न आर्टिकल थ्री फिफ्टी टू आर्टिकल सेवेंटी फोर आर्टिकल थ्री फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड आर्टिकल सेवेंटी सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स आर्टिकल थ्री फिफ्टी टू इज मैंशनिंग अबाउट द नेशनल इमरजेंसी ओके आर्टिकल सेवेंटी फोर देयर शैल बी ए काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर विच इज हेडेड बाई प्राइम मिनिस्टर टू एड एंड एडवाइज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया आर्टिकल थ्री फिफ्टी सिक्स इज फॉर द स्टेट इमरजेंसी और इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज प्रेसिडेंशियल रूल आर्टिकल सेवेंटी सिक्स इज फॉर द अटॉर्नी जनरल ऑफ इंडिया स्टूडेंट हु इज प्रेजेंट अटॉर्नी जनरल ऑफ इंडिया ओके सो वॉट यू सी द फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम मंत्री मंडल वर्ड इज यूज अंडर आर्टिकल थ्री फिफ्टी टू ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो वी हैव नेशनल इमरजेंसी प्रोविजन दैट इज प्रोक्लेम बाई द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया बट देर इज अ कंडीशन द कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर विल गिव अ रिटर्न लेटर टू दैम means to the president for the imposition of uh, this national emergency so initially national emergency uh, imposed by two way one let's suppose there is a foreign attack or any war condition and the second was the internal disturbance but this internal disturbance term was used during the time period of indira gandhi ji 1975 and she imposed national emergency but students when Morarji Desai's government will come he made an amendment 44th constitutional amendment act 1978 and he modified this word internal disturbance with the uh, arm rebellion okay so this is also very important initially we faced two national emergency one in 1962 when india china war is there and then 1971 then india pakistan was war is there okay everyone so see 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 for the financial emergency we have article number article 360 okay until the time in india no financial emergency is imposed i hope you all getting it so option a is correct for the same now i'm going to give the explanation for the same so for the first time mantri mandal word or cabinet word mentioned only once in the constitution and that is under article 352 of indian constitution so this state that president shall not issue a proclamation okay proclamation unless the union cabinet that is to say the council consisting the prime minister and other minister of cabinet rank under the article 75 students so this is very important okay now see the third question cabinet means it was in uttarakhand psc 2006 all ministers of the government ministers with the cabinet rank cabinet minister and their secretaries or ministers of states so who are the part of this data students or this question okay so as we already discussed students cabinet is a group of ministers they are take care for a independent department okay and they take important decisions so all minister if it, we talk about all minister that will contain cabinet minister minister of state okay minister of independent charge but this is going to be incorrect so minister with the cabinet rank and they took the important decision of the government in the term of policy as well as in the term of any data so option b is going to be more appropriate answer for the same getting it see secretaries are not going to part of the them 
okay everyone now see the data cabinet means minister with the cabinet rank cabinet is a body of high rank state officially uh, consisting of executive branch of top leader so member of cabinet are usually called as cabinet minister okay so in this uh, cabinet which meet as and when summoned by prime minister for taking important decision of the government so basically it is a important means they are the important people in the government and they took the uh, participation in the policy making okay everyone so this is very very important and see this word cabinet is used under article 352 clause 3 and it was added by 44th constitutional amendment act why because the students initially there was no provision for the uh, uh, means written recommendation for the national emergency later it was added okay getting it now see the next question there is a parliamentary system of the government in india because student we, uh, means in the world there is a two type of uh, 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 basically governance system one is called as presidential and other is called as parliamentary so presidential system where the legislative body is different and executive body is different and see both will not part of one another executive body is headed by president so there is a independent election for him and basically there will be uh, uh, means council of minister he also contain but they there will be secretaries or the, the basically the ministers they are not part of the legislative body but india in india students we have a system where we have legislative branch means we have lok sabha and rajya sabha and students from lok sabha and rajya sabha a uh, executive or council of minister is going to be chosen so legislative contain executive so executive so executive will responsible towards the legislature i hope you are getting it so in the parliamentary form of government executive is responsible towards the legislative students getting it simple so what is going to be right answer for this year <coughs> sorry so lok sabha is elected directly by people parliament can amend the constitution rajya sabha cannot be dissolved council of minister is, is responsible towards the lok sabha so what are the uniqueness what are the feature of parliamentary system of government lok sabha is elected directly by the people okay uh, so if you if you talk about usa in usa there are two type of houses and they are also elected by the people okay parliament can amend the constitution this feature is available to other countries also like in presidential form country like in uh, usa rajya sabha cannot be dissolved it can be okay but this is the uniqueness council of minister will be responsible towards the because council of minister is chosen from the legislative body so they are responsible towards the legislature and basically house of people that is lok sabha students i hope you all getting it anybody have any doubt so option d is going to write for the same there is a parliamentary system of government in india because council of minister is responsible towards the lok sabha student this question is very important for each and every exam okay a parliamentary system is a system of governance of a state where the executive is responsible to the legislature and is accountable to it in case of india council of minister are responsible of uh, lok sabha and remain in office until they have the confidence of lok sabha students getting it now see the next question this was in up pcs 2011 which of the following statement is not true regarding the parliament of india and students i told you read question carefully is not true regarding the parliament of india students now constitution provide for parliamentary form of government okay not true regarding the parliament of india students so constitution provide for the parliamentary form of government okay so parliamentary form of government what is the feature council of minister will responsible towards the lok sabha okay 
द फंक्शन ऑफ पार्लियामेंट इज टू प्रोवाइड अ प्रोवाइड फॉर अ कैबिनेट ओके नाउ थर्ड से इज दैट मेंबर ऑफ द कैबिनेट इज रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू द लोअर हाउस नॉट ट्रू एंड कैबिनेट इंजॉय द कॉन्फिडेंस ऑफ मेजोरिटी इन द पॉपुलर चैंबर ऑफ द हाउस पॉपुलर चैंबर मीन्स बेसिकली लोकसभा इज हेयर हाउस ऑफ पीपल बेसिकली इट इज पॉपुलर सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ट्रू स्टूडेंट्स वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर कैन बी द पार्ट ऑफ द लोकसभा कैन बी द पार्ट ऑफ द राज्यसभा और इफ दे आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ एनी दे कैन ऑल्सो बी अपॉइंटेड एज द मेंबर ऑफ लोकसभा और मीन्स दे कैन ऑल्सो बी अपॉइंटेड एज द पार्ट ऑफ काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर बट देर इज अ कंडीशन दे मस्ट टेक मेंबरशिप विद इन सिक्स मंथ ओके फ्रॉम एनी हाउस सो इफ यू सी दिस स्टेटमेंट सी इज इन करेक्ट बिकॉज they are not restricted to this okay they can be from any house of the parliament students so statement c is not true because appointment of cabinet minister can be from both houses of the parliament it may be rajya sabha lok sabha as per supreme court verdict the person who is not member of either house of the parliament he can also sworn as a minister but there is a condition within 6 month he must take the membership from the either house of the parliament getting it we already discussed about the same now see this question was in upsc pre 2013 so read question carefully consider the following statement the council of minister is the center shall be collectively responsible to the parliament read question carefully the union minister shall hold the office during the pleasure of president the prime minister shall communicate to the president about the proposal for the legislation now which of the following statement is correct students choose answer carefully because i told you multiple times students when you read question in a lazy mode definitely that question is going to be wrong means that option uh, answer is going to be wrong so i i'm just waiting for your response and then then i will i will give the uh, uh answer for the same and i told you students this book is going to be very very important for your examination now just tell me what is right answer for this same students ओके सो समवन सेइंग कि ओनली वन एंड थ्री आर करेक्ट अदर सी इफ यू सी वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर विल बी कलेक्टिवली रिस्पॉन्सिबल एंड अकाउंटेबल टू हूम टू लोकसभा not to the complete parliament okay not to the complete parliament it means that this statement is incorrect the council of minister in the center shall be collectively responsible to the parliament so this question is going to be no sorry this statement is going to be wrong if you see the second statement the union minister shall hold the office during the pleasure of president yes so basically president is going to appoint the union minister on the advice of prime minister so let's suppose someone not following duties in that case prime minister will advise to president remove that person it means that there is no fixed tenure for a union minister so they function or they working on the pleasure of the president of india students now the third question means the third statement prime minister shall communicate article 78 we already discussed it is the duty of prime minister to advise president of india as well as to inform all matter relating to the parliamentary affair as well as the national what is right answer so student 2 and 3 statements are correct and then answer b is going to be right for the same that's why i told you upsc statements you need to read carefully they are not making uh, 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 a very different means they are not going to give question for out of the box but yes they are giving question in modified format so here 
if someone reading question in hurry format uh, the council of minister in the center shall be collectively responsible to the parliament they will think this data is correct but here lok sabha is needed okay so conceptual clarity is very important okay statement 2 and 3 is correct article 75 clause 2 mentioning about principle of individual responsibility the state minister hold office during the pleasure of president of india article 78 mentioning about the duty of pre, uh, prime minister and art, uh, basically statement 1 is not correct because the council of minister is collectively responsible towards the lok sabha not to the parliament students now this question was in maharashtra psc year 2013 the principle of collective responsibility means okay the cabinet minister voice the same opinion before the state legislature okay in no case is a minister expected to speak against the government decision or policy in the cabinet meeting they can differ from each other but public exposure of these differences is considered undesirable all the member of council of minister collectively not responsible for uh, all the acts now so this question you need to read carefully okay now you have to find out which of the following is correct okay so cabinet minister voice the same opinion before the state legislature okay principle of collective responsibility okay so they are collectively responsible okay no minister in case minister expected to speak again the government so it is also very important council of minister they are collective they may have differences but they will present presented as a collective uh, 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 a people getting it so this is also correct okay and now students statement 3 says that ki uh, means maybe they have differences but they are not going to make it public okay statement d if you read all member of council of minister not responsible for their act okay they are collectively responsible for their act and that's why if let's suppose a bill is not going to pass in lok, lok sabha in that case they are collectively going to be removed or resign okay so what is going to be right answer for the same it means option number c 1 2 3 all are correct so of c as we already discussed ki we have explanation part 2 that is going to help you in your means examination for answer writing so here the principle of collective responsibility means that all minister are bound by collect decision made by cabinet accordingly minister act with and on behalf of their cabinet colleague minister must a uh, seek cabinet approval for all their proposal before making any public announcement it is the duty of every minister to stand by cabinet decision and support them both within and outside the parliament okay and fourth is incorrect because collective responsibility also means that all ministers own joint responsibility to lok sabha for all their acts of omission or commission okay now see once again this question belonging to upsc 2009 so the question says that with reference to the union government consider the following statement so statement 1 the ministers sorry the ministries and department of government of india are created by prime minister on advice of cabinet secretary okay so ministries and department is created by prime minister on the advice of cabinet secretary second says that each of ministries is assigned to a minister by president of india on the advice of prime minister so which of the following statements is or are correct only one only two only means one and two both neither one nor two students so just all, means give the right answer okay 
basically students if you see who is the head of the country so head of the country is head of state is president of india president of india is going to appoint prime minister plus council of minister so if there is a, any ministry is going to be created that is basically created by the president of india and that advice is given by prime minister not on the advice of cabinet secretary getting it easy everyone so statement 1 is going to be wrong but if you see statement 2 each of ministries is assigned to a minister by the president of india on advice of prime minister so we all know prime minister a uh, 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 advising to the president for appointment of any person as a a uh, 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 basically a member of council of minister so if you see only statement 2 is correct so answer b means option b is going to be right for the same getting it okay everyone so we already made statement here uh, government of india rule 1961 are made by president of india under article 77 of the constitution for allocation of business of the government so basically it is taken care by the president statement 1 is incorrect because president can only uh, can appoint only those person as minister who are recommended by prime minister he allocate and reshuffles various portfolio among the minister's students now see the question number 9 okay it was in up pcs 2006 and 2010 which one of the following motion council of minister in india can move okay council of ministers in india can move so it is a work of council of minister no confidence motion censor motion adjournment motion and confidence motion so who will issue what okay students so basically no confidence motion is basically bring by opposition because let's suppose uh any bill of any minister is not going to pass in lok sabha it means that basically the uh, uh, basically government is not uh, uh getting support from lok sabha in that case opposition can bring the no confidence motion but who is, who will prove confidence motion to prove majority confidence motion is presented by the ruling government so basically ministers are the part of the ruling government so this confidence motion is introduced by council of minister okay aryan so this is also important so option d is right for the same so the council of minister can move confidence motion confidence motion has evolved as a counter by government where it wants to demonstrate its majority confidence motion is a motion of support proposed by a government in a parliament or other assembly of elected representative to give member of parliament or other such assembly a chance to register their confidence in a government student getting it now we have the 10th question okay the number of lok sabha member required to table no confidence motion against the council of minister student so no confidence means basically this is presented by opposition opposition is saying that ki basically uh this uh, council means basically this government don't have majority in the lok sabha so that's why they are bringing the no confidence motion and students for that purpose it is very important and this is just a fact data there there must be 50 member agree to bring or to uh, uh bring this no confidence motion against the council of minister so just yes, just remember the data for the examination okay so the number of lok sabha member required to table a no confidence motion against the council of minister is 50 it is a parliamentary motion that is move in lok sabha against the entire council of minister no prior reason needed to uh, state uh, stated for its adoption in the lok sabha students when no confidence motion is passed again the government it then it has to prove it majority in the lok sabha and it on introduce in lok sabha because majority required in lok sabha easy okay now see this question it was in mains up pcs 
which one of the following is not correct situation arising after the resignation of the council of minister if council of minister going to resign now what is going to happen president will rule will impose not a correct situation president will ask to continue till alternative arrangement alternative arrangement means earliest people uh, earliest possible general election to be held to form a new government outgoing council of minister may have had charges till formation of new government now students what is going to be a right answer for the same not correct student let's suppose there is a prime minister and council of minister and they resign okay so what is going to happen now vacancy created now it is the duty of president of india to choose or to select anyone and to appoint the prime minister okay one one condition if someone has majority they will means that party will give the name and he will appoint the prime minister otherwise let's suppose no consensus is there in that case president is free to appoint anyone as a prime minister and students in that case president will not impose president rule okay it is for the states so president rule will not imposed option a is correct because not a correct answer they are asking okay so option a is incorrect so president rule is applicable to state under article 356 of indian constitution president rule imposed when a state government is unable to function according to the constitutional provision in this case union government can take direct control of the state administration okay everyone now see the next question it was in maharashtra psc there is a council of minister to aid and advise the president who in the exercise of his function act in accordance with such advice however once again i am reading this question there is a council of minister to aid and advise the president article 74 who in the exercise of his function act in accordance with the such advice however now president cannot ask the council of minister to reconsider such advice okay question whether any min, any device, uh, advice are tendered by a council of minister to the president can be inquired into the supreme court okay if a member of parliament get disqualified to be a member and he contest election before the expiry of the term of this office he can remain as a minister until it declared elected okay so now you have to choose which one of the following is correct okay which one of the following is correct okay so president can ask for the reconsideration if any advice is given by 